Kimberly Duncan and I have captioned my story, Faith Without Sight. I had completed my CAPE examination in 2014 and decided that I would go straight to the university. However, that was not possible because of certain financial constraints at the moment and I had other siblings that were fast approaching examination classes. So my mother advised that I look for a job and I will be able to save and then further my studies later. I took that advice and I started to send out application to various places. I quickly got a job as a grade four teacher at a private institution, but I was not being paid enough. I started keeping lessons so I can save enough money for my passage and my salary would go towards my studies, but it was still not enough. During all of that, I was always faithful to God. So I decided to pray and ask him to open a door for me that I can get enough money that I need to further my study. Then three months after, I got an email from a company that I had sent an application to. They wanted to schedule an interview. I went for that interview and later that same night, I got another application from the company saying that I got the job. I was so excited and I will be getting to save more money for my studies. I started out the job at GWI, Guyana Water Incorporated, and I was saving. When I do decided that I wanted to continue my studies, I found out that I would not be able to get the time off to study. I was so devastated. However, because of my passion to further my studies, I had to make the tough decision to leave the job in order to study. When I got through with my registration process at the University of Guyana, and it was time to pay my fees, my money was not enough to pay my fees and to cover my passage for that semester. Again, I discussed it with my parents and they asked if I truly wanted to go through with this because they would not get the money to send me every day and to pay my fees and handouts and books. I went through with it not knowing what the outcome would be or where I would get the money from. That Sabbath, I had a lunch with my grandparents as usual and I told them about my plans. My mother spoke with them, telling them that I will be starting the university as well. At that moment, my grandmother said, without me even asking, not to worry about anything. You do what you have to do, and I will provide the money for you. I will provide the money that you would need for that entire four years. And that is exactly what she did. Today, I can say that I have completed that degree successfully because God has worked it out for me. Hence, my scripture thanks, Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God.